Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And before we get into the actual game, I want to do something that I know a lot of you guys ask me to do pretty regularly, which is kind of give you a lineup update prior to the game itself. Now, my real lineup uh, right now, I know I'm, I'm recording this audio over this video kind of after the fact. So uh, today, May 2nd, 2015, my lineup looks a little bit different than this, but I just want to give you guys kind of a quick update on this here. Uh, in this game, we're running Demarcus Ware at left end and Von Miller at uh, left outside linebacker. I ended up actually switching that out fairly quickly because I kind of thought Von Miller played better uh, as far as on the defensive line. So that's not what it ended up being kind of after this. But in this game right here, we are going to use Demarcus Ware at left end and Von Miller at left outside linebacker. So I hope that makes sense, guys. We're heading into this game three and one. Got the win in our last game. Looking to continue some momentum, try and get into the playoffs this year. I missed the playoffs in my first All Madden season, so I really want to try and uh, get in there this season. So let's see what happens here on the field, guys. Very first play of the game, and we're going to take off off the left side. Chris Johnson, the mystery card, is going to pick up nine there on the first carry. Feeling very good about that one. Second play, we've got Franco Harris in the, in the uh, flat there on the left side of the field. Gets open for a nice gain there. Decent passing game to start off here, and the running game is getting some great blocking. Look at Chris Johnson go. Probably didn't need to spin there. And then the back juke, and we hit him for a big gain there. Three rushes, 35 yards for Chris Johnson at this point. And now Jeremy Hill's going to get in on the action. A big spin move by him, and he is just a bowling ball carrying guys down the field. 24 yards on that carry. Nice run here off the right side here. Well, it should have been, but we ended up cutting outside as opposed to going right where the hole was. Unfortunately, then, sets up a third and 10 and I did not convert. So good drive running the ball on my first drive, but unfortunately we only walk away with three. I don't know if that's going to end up costing us in this one, but let's get in there and see what happens. First play of the game for him. He is going to pick up seven on a nice little pass over the middle. Second play, we do shut down his run, which brings up a third and two here, and we do make a beautiful stop there. So feeling good about that, but it brings up a fourth down, and my opponent is going to go for it and convert gutsy gutsy play call in his own red zone if i would have taken over the ball there that would have been huge but uh unfortunately didn't make the play second and 10 here and he's going to take off with a nice run by darren mcfadden running up the middle now darren mcfadden is an absolute beast in this game i'm just going to give you guys a quick preview uh i'm not going to spoil anything on what happens but i'm just telling you he is an absolute animal as we drop the pick there with luke keekley on third and four brings up a fourth and four and i almost picked that thing off with keekley that time uh, he basically ran the exact same play that he did the last time on fourth down, just an in route to his right side of his uh, his right side wide receiver. Now he's going to go back to the right side there. A little, uh, I don't even know what you would call that route. Kind of like a screen, but not really. It was just kind of a short little flat route run by his receiver. A couple plays later, he is going to step into the end zone to take the lead in this one with his fullback. Good drive by my opponent, but what can you really do there? Nice pass to Mike Ditka back on offense now. And watch Mike Vick here. Making some magic happen in the backfield. He breaks a tackle, finds a wide open Calvin Johnson down the field. We've got two blockers. There's no way we're not getting into the end zone here. Megatron with the touchdown. He is an absolute beast for us this season. Doing very, very well. My opponent's going to throw this thing up here into coverage. And Antonio Cromartie probably could have picked that, but at least he swatted it away. I was just happy to not get beat with a streak, man. I was feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> so that brings up now a second and 10. And he does convert for seven, bringing up a third and three here. And their run is going to continue here with Darren McFadden. Did not quite pick up the first down here, which brings up a fourth in inches. I'm fully expecting the run. And for some reason, one of my players is standing off sides for no apparent reason. And he picks up the first down anyway. It really wouldn't have mattered. But just wanted to show you guys that. I mean, I just have no idea why that happens in this game. It's just ridiculous. But uh, he's going to scramble out to the right side there and convert with a nice pass to Darren McFadden for nine. Short pass here. Again, Darren McFadden, again, just beasting me. He's beating me up in the running game and the passing game with McFadden. Just absolutely killing me. Another short pass here. I believe that's to his fullback. Again, he's picking up like 8 to 10 every single time that he's thrown into the flats here. Finally, he's going to throw this thing up into double coverage. Are you freaking kidding me? Darren McFadden just beat Antonio Cromartie and Earl Thomas on a deep ball. Both of them in one play. EA, bruh. 
But it doesn't matter because we come back with the user pick on defense. Luke Keekly, baby, into the end zone. A huge interception. Massive, massive play for us there. That's what I'm talking about. Momentum time, guys. It's momentum time. We're taking this game back 17 to 14 now as my opponent converts there with a nice pass. And he's coming back with the running game here. Darren McFadden again. Another big gain. 12 yards. At this point, he's just destroying me with the running game. I have no idea what's going on here. And look at all these missed tackles. Going for hit sticks and just, ugh. Ugh, awful user controls there by me. Cannot complain about that one. And Darren McFadden is going to step into the end zone for him there, taking the lead back. This is, I mean, every time that I score, he's taking the lead back. I scored the field goal on the first drive, then he scored three straight touchdowns, basically, uh, in this game uh, as we go back and forth and back and forth. So it, it's been a, a frustrating game on defense, but still very, very fun. It's very, very close right now. Is This is really anybody's game as we pick up a nice run there with Chris Johnson. Back with the counter here on third and four, and we do convert. Chris Johnson's actually a pretty good running back, guys. I, I didn't really have any problems with him fumbling or anything. I know other people have, but look at him. He just runs really, really smooth for me, and I really kind of like everything that I get out of him as we convert a nice little pass here in the flat to Franco Harris and get into the end zone. He ran another cover three type play there, so we were able to exploit it in the flat, and that really worked out for us that time for a touchdown. 24 to 21 here with two minutes and 45 seconds left, and we force a sack. Oh, Darren Donald forced the sack, but couldn't quite recover brings up now a third and 22 this should be a very easy stop for us right I mean, you would think so based off of the players that I have and everything. And uh, Bruce Smith is going to come up with a huge sack there. Brings up now 4th and 27. We only rush 3 here, but look at Aaron Donald picking up the sack. And he is going to celebrate after the fact. Kicking dirt in the quarterback's face. Get out of here, Derek Carr, with that trash. And then we're going to pass here in the end zone. Calvin Johnson on that post route. Yes, you knew it was coming eventually, didn't you? 31-21 to 21 now. We do have the 10-point lead. And my opponent is going to throw this football up here into coverage. Taylor Mays comes up with the interception, and we are going to walk away with a win in this football game, guys. One more run by Chris Johnson is going to do it here. Big rushing yardage for Chris Johnson in this one. Great playing on defense for the most part, at least in the second half. Anyway, we played pretty well, and we are going to step out of here with the 31-21 to victory. Brings us now to 4-1 on the season. Feeling very good about that. Our chances of making the playoffs are much better this year than we were they were last year, uh, but we still do have have a lot of work to do on the offensive side of the ball, especially. I uh, cannot be making mistakes. Uh, definitely cannot be throwing interceptions like I have been in previous seasons. I didn't really turn the ball over in this one, but, um, you know, definitely there were some times where I struggled on offense and ended up just not really doing everything that I wanted to do, as you see that pass to Darren McFadden in the highlight reel after the game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Wish me luck in continuing this this uh, stretch that we've had here of good games in this season, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.